Here's more wrestling news for August 31st, 2022. And we're kicking off with Raw, as during this week's show, a lot of fans were hoping to see Sasha Banks and Naomi. With reports that the pair are expected to be back any week now, many people were hoping this past Monday would be the night. Many, but not everyone. One fan made it very clear that they didn't want to see one half of the former WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, holding a sign that read, We want Naomi, not Bacha Banks. The sign didn't stay on TV for long, as during an in-ring segment featuring Alexa Bliss, Asuka, and Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair, a member of WWE security could be seen leaping over a barricade to go and confiscate the sign. WWE hasn't given any official statement on the sign, but with Banks and Naomi close to returning, the last thing the company needs is a reason for the two to be hesitant to come back. Sasha Banks and Naomi didn't return this week, as some have expected, though we can't count out a possible return at Clash of the Castle. But it seems inevitable that both will be back, despite the pleas of this sign-wielding fan. Earlier this week, Vince Russo made a huge claim that for two years, he had been working with the USA Network to oversee Monday Night Raw. Infamously known as the man who killed WCW, fans aren't exactly thrilled at the Master of Swerves having a presence with WWE again, but that reportedly isn't the case. When Ringside News asked sources in WWE, they confirmed that some people have worked with the USA Network to consult Raw, but Russo's name was never mentioned. It said that Max Landis, who fans may know as the creator of the fantastic Wrestling Isn't Wrestling video, was one of the people who consulted with USA over Raw, and that while a few people ended up on the phone with WWE's lead writers, Russo certainly wasn't one of them. Our source went on to say that, If Vince Russo was a consultant, it was a waste of USA's money. If he wasn't, it doesn't matter because no one cared anyway. Russo may have had talks with USA, but it seems he did not ever work directly with WWE during the two-year period between WrestleMania's 36 and 38. Over to AEW now is unlike WWE, Tony Khan's company doesn't have their own streaming service, though it's something Khan has been working on for a while. With AEW's content library always growing, fans are hoping to one day have their answer to the WWE Network, and it may be getting closer, according to a recent action. If you go on ShopAEW.com or Pro Wrestling Tees, you'll find that no AEW DVDs are available, as they've all been pulled from both websites. No reason has been given as to why they've been removed, though some have suggested that this could be part of a planned streaming service, which will be the only way to watch old AEW content. Given how popular AEW has been over the past three years, we're confident that fans would sign up for a streaming service, and we'll just have to see how much longer it takes to get this platform going. We've got some unfortunate news from Buff Bagwell now, who is back in rehab after experiencing a relapse. In recent years, Bagwell has been dealing with multiple substance abuse and legal issues, and as of late, has been working with DDP to clean up his act. On his YouTube channel, Page said that while Bagwell had been doing well, negative influences in Buff's life, including people who love him and enable him, has caused him to relapse. DDP added that Buff and he agreed that it is in their best interest that he goes to a rehab facility, which will result in the XWCW star cancelling some upcoming scheduled appearances. Bagwell has worked hard over the past year to get his life back on track, but this relapse is a setback, and we're wishing Buff nothing but the best as he looks to get better in rehab. Now at a recent series of WWE live events, Theory was advertised as Austin Theory, the name he used back in NXT and until April of this year. Theory's name was changed because of a Vince McMahon rule against any real names, but with McMahon no longer around, some have speculated that this rule is a thing of the past. It turns out that is the case, as PW Insider has confirmed that the reigning Mr. Money in the Bank is Austin Theory once more, and that he's not the only one getting their name back. Riddle will now be Matt Riddle once again, though his name was changed for much different reasons, and PW Insider added that McMahon's No Real Names rule has officially been reversed. This rule affected a lot of WWE superstars, including Butch, Tommaso Ciampa, Gunther, as well as Angel and Umberto, so we'll have to see who gets their names changed back in the coming future. In June, Finn Balor usurped power over the Judgment Day from Edge, kicking the Rated R Superstar out of the group. The trio of Balor, Damian Priest, and Rhea Ripley have been impressive in recent weeks, but there's always room for new members in the Dark Stable. Speaking on Ryan Satin's Out of Character podcast, Balor was asked who he'd like to add to the team and didn't hold back with some big names. 
Maybe AJ Styles, you know? We haven't essentially fallen out, we're just not on the same page. Maybe AJ, bring AJ in. I think his work as a heel is just, pardon the pun, but phenomenal. Given a little more time to think about it, I could have given you a better answer. I'd love Brock Lesnar in the Judgment Day. Lesnar hasn't been seen on WWE TV since SummerSlam, and while the Beast has hardly been known as a team player, we can't count out anything in this new era of WWE. A few months ago, AEW changed up their commentary roles, with Jim Ross only announcing during the second hour of Dynamite in what was the latest edit to the commentary table. Since AEW was formed, their programs have had several different teams behind the desk, with JR, Excalibur, Taz, Tony Schiavone, Chris Jericho, and CM Punk, just to name a few, who have donned the headset. During this week's Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer discussed the commentary changes and admitted that Tony Khan has a hard time settling on just one team. He's not committed to anything as a permanent thing. I think it's just kind of like what he feels is the deal as he feels… you kind of go by hunches a lot. Some weeks his hunch is that you do that, some weeks the hunch is to not do it. For much of his run in WWE, JR was considered the unquestionable voice of the promotion, but that clearly isn't the same situation in AEW. Ironically, it's Vince McMahon who was known for changing his mind too often, something that Khan has poked fun of in the past, but now it's the AEW president who struggles to make a final call, at least when it comes to commentary. From 2010 to 2016, Wade Barrett decimated opponents in the ring, and there was a time when many considered him a future WWE champion. That ultimately never panned out, and Barrett now commentates for NXT 2.0, but a return to the ring could be in store. While speaking to BT Sport, Barrett was asked that exact question and didn't rule out a possible comeback. Barrett explained that he's physically fit and cleared to wrestle, and if the right opportunity presents itself, then he'll have no problem stepping back into the ring. With that said, the five-time former Intercontinental Champion added that he's extremely happy with his current role in NXT, and unlike a lot of other wrestlers, doesn't have the strange itch to have one last run before calling it a career. With so much changing in WWE right now, it's not impossible that Barrett could return for at least one more match, but that decision is one only the ex-wrestler and Triple H will get to make. Wade Barrett could one day step back in the ring as a professional wrestler, and he's not the only superstar about to make a comeback. And we're ending today with Roman Reigns, who has dominated WWE as the undisputed Universal Champion. Legends, icons, and Hall of Famers have all fallen to the Tribal Chief, who is celebrating a huge milestone. Yesterday evening, Reigns reached two whole years since becoming Universal Champion, defeating both Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman in a triple threat match to win the gold. Now both men have left WWE, though it's interesting that both Wyatt and Strowman are names that have come up backstage as potential returns. This Saturday, Drew McIntyre will look to be the one to dethrone, but as we begin year three of Reigns' run on the top, the Tribal Chief has no plans of losing his undisputed WWE Universal Championship anytime soon. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.